Hey, Norwegian guy. Huh. There's another polar bear for you to stun. Okay, have it your way. Guess I'll just shoot the damn thing myself. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll just get my gear. I'm waiting right here. And don't let Miss Alaska hold you up back there. Kelly spotted another polar bear outside. Not now, Rune. Polaris! Come in, Polaris! Go ahead, we hear you. I found oil deep down a crevasse near Test Drill 2. It's an open pit, Nova. I found sea oil. But that's... that's wonderful. And there's more to the story. I also ran into something unexpected. But I'd better tell you in person. I'll be there soon. While you wait, you can contact Thule. We need to announce this right away. What was unexpected? Should I tell them something else? Just tell them we're going to make the shareholders happy and the liberals angry pretty soon. Okay, where are you now? A few miles northeast of Polaris. But speaking of tree huggers, is that Norwegian chap still bothering you? Oh no, he's not. Not at all. What? I tell you, I haven't seen such an obvious crush since my prom night, and that's been a while. He's in the room, Al. Shut it. He's there? Well, I think that was all. See you soon. Over and out. So he found oil. I don't know what that last part was about, though. For some reason, he seemed to think that you have a bit of a crush on me. I told him that you've been bumping into me during my coffee breaks. Crush? No, I... I just... I mean, it would be cool if we still continued to have accidental run-ins. Come on, is that how they do it in Oslo? Whoops, I think I left the line open. And what a thoughtful mistake it was. This has been a comedy goldmine. Look, maybe Rune could fix you something nice in the canteen. Uh, let's say, tomorrow. I'll even throw in some fuel and ammo for Tully. Uh, for distraction, you know. I could do that. Good. Do I have a say in this? Not really. Can you cook, Rune? That's my girl. Rune, I happen to know what she likes, but I'll fill you in later. Now is not the time. Okay, over and out. Over and out. So, did you have anything else in mind? Tully spotted another polar bear outside. Polar bear research on a station owned by a godless oil company. You know, this might be the biggest oil discovery of our careers. While you are trying to save the Arctic, that's... A serious conflict of interest, I know. I love ice climbing and the Arctic, that's why I'm here. Did my master's measuring skewer eggs in Svalbard. As for the company, me being here is just a cheap publicity trick. I'll play along and get my thesis done. But maybe I should get moving. That bear won't be around forever. Be careful. Everything Tully knows about polar bears comes from cola commercials.
Hey, Rune! Over here! Where is it? Back there, behind the station. I think it tried to stalk me, so I took off. Then it's probably a male, so let's be very careful. We need some real firepower. There's a 12-gauge Tax-12 inside with auto mode. Unloads the clip in about two seconds. I'm going to stun it. I know, but if you really want to be on the safe side, you'll let me take the shot. There are some factors you might not be familiar with. I'll be your spotter then. He's a big one, all right. Somewhat over 200 kilos, I'd say. And guess what? He is a she. Does that matter? More than one would think. Tracking collars can't be fitted to males. Their necks are wider than their heads. Are you gonna shoot it or what? Hold on, I'll just need to get the rest of the gear. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to. Just above the shoulder blade. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in and then have a closer look. Look at that maw. It can easily crush a seal's skull or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Hardcore. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. Let's see what's wrong. There's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spreading. Look at the dark spots on the gums. That's a satellite tracker? Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. Careful! Relax. I know what I'm doing. We're done here. She can't eat with that tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you going to keep her on a leash until then? Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. What if she starts moving before that? I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up.
Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Let's take the snowmobile and pull her. That might work. Eula Petroleum is gonna love her. We are not telling them. We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak.